down, Scope. Take her down, Mr. Davis. Aye, Captain. Helm, ahead two-thirds, left, 25 degrees rudder. Ahead two-thirds, left, 25 degrees rudder, aye. Make your depth at 1,000 feet. for silent running. We're heading into Soviet waters. Sonar con, set bathometer to automatic sounding every 10 seconds. Palmer, initiate bottom contour mapping. Boomer, under eye sonar. Ahab, start scanning for low freak prop noises. First one to bag a Russian boomer gets a case of highlight. That dude's wrong. Gain new broadband contact. Bearing three, two, five. Sonar con. Identify contact. Contact is unknown. Setting tracker 2A and calculating solution. Con, sonar, belay that. There's nothing. No, sir, you're wrong. There's definitely something out there. Contact now bearing 225. What's going on, Bill? Nothing, sir. Seaman Ahab's just picked up a thermal up. No, sir, that's not what it was. Give me a headset. Contact now angling down. Son, I'm not hearing anything. It's not really a sound, sir. It's more of an emptiness. Like a hole in the water. Give me continuous range reports on close aboard contact. Aye, aye, sir. You don't even drink. God, dive. Depth is 1500 feet and rise. What is it, sir? I didn't hear a damn thing, Duck. But what if it's one of those new Yankee class boats Intel's been chattering about? The wrench may have solved their noise problem. They may have solved their depth problem. Con, sonar, we're getting bottom breaks. Close aboard, contact, still diving. What the hell is going on? It's the Linky Deep. It's going into the trench. Depth is 1700 and rising. Disengage. Level at 1700. Leveling at 1700. High. But, sir, he's still down there. Not driving my boat into a tunnel after an imaginary bogey, Seaman Ahab. We'll take pictures. And send your tape to Norfolk. Maybe the spooks can figure out what the hell you saw. A periscope. Just move us around to the mouth of the trench. Nice and slow. All right, Captain. Cheese. 
Coomer. Coomer, you there, man? Come on, get up. Michelle. Right, sorry. Michelle. They're here. Let's get Michelle. to work. Did you get fired? I didn't get fired. I'm on a sabbatical. What's up with this broke-ass boat? The institution had some doubts about the validity of my research. Because you talk to Wes. If you say it like that, then I do sound crazy. Am I gonna get paid? I don't know. It depends on if you can get that in fixed. Please. Eating whale song a generator. We've got birds. That's a good sign. All right, I've got a signal. Initiating sample HB twelve A. This is the mating call of the large male humpback whale. We're using 160 decibels, and since the speed of sound is four times faster underwater, we expect to attract females from hundreds of miles away. Just like me. <laughs> Actually, the other purpose of the whale song generator is to warn whales to stay away from hazardous areas. For example, Navy sonar, which is so powerful that it's irritating. It's, it's even harmful to the whale's natural ability Michelle, to navigate. Michelle! Look! The behavior is completely look, modified to avoid look, potentially deadly Michelle, situations. Look! 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 <laughs> we did it! It worked! It worked! We did it! Step <laughs> in! Wait, there's Woo! another one! Oh my god! Look! Oh, it... oh my god! It worked! It worked! <laughs> okay, okay, um, 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 uh, a sample. 30, 31, 32. Right, right. 31, 30, 31. Oh. There, look, they're oh. reacting. Here comes another. 
another one. Michelle Herman. I'm Lieutenant Commander Starbuck, USS Pequod. I need you to come aboard, ma'am. Uh, why? Everything will be explained once we're underway. No, I'm not getting on that thing. I'm afraid I must insist, ma'am. Oh. Okay. Wait. Look, okay, look. Cap Captain. I'm not the captain. I'm the executive officer. All right, then. Can I speak to your superior? Captain Ahab is not feeling well, but I have orders to commandeer your equipment and your services. And what if I refuse? Then, in accordance with the suspension clause, Article 1, Section 9 of the United States Constitution, I will order these gentlemen to compel you to cooperate. Pip, call the institution and ask to speak to Dr. Peter. My lawyer's name is Mihai. I'm afraid Mr. Pippin will be joining us. Say what? Take the equipment below. What about my boat? Stowed on board. Oh, and ma'am, would you mind covering up? We've been deployed for five and a half months, and, well, the men. Oh, it's just brilliant. All men, all men, prepare to die. Prepare to die. Men again, prepare to die. All hands, all hands. Dear diving stations. Repeat, all hands, all hands. Dear diving stations. All hands, stand by for dive. This is Mr. Stubb, the chief of the boat. Where do you want to put her, sir? That's a good question. What about the captain's bed? What? What? Good idea, Mr. Q. About a week after we deployed, the captain ordered his mattress removed from his quarters, said it was too comfortable to sleep on. We're storing in the torpedo room. It's good space in there, if you don't mind sharing with six tons of high explosives. Chief Queequeg will escort you down to the control room for debriefing. Sweet, man. Okay. Watch your head. of approximately zero feet. I can already smell the blubber. All right, now keep an eye out there, folks. Remember, it's peak mating season, and we got grays and humpbacks all up in these waters around here. Now, we're going to be heading out deep, so if it gets a little choppy, y'all might want to hold on. Now, you folks all got your cameras rolling, right? <laughs> yeah, probably don't know what the hell I'm saying, dude. That's all right, I get paid just the same anyway. All right, folks, well, we're gonna slow this puppy on down here and just slowly shut her off. And, uh, well, here we are. Welcome to the sweet spot, ladies and gentlemen. I'll bring my guests out here. I'll never miss, I'll tell you. Just keep an eye out there. And as a matter of fact, uh, over there on the right, well, there you go. Well, there she blows, right over there, off the starboard bow. That's right for you land lovers. Take a look at that. She is beautiful. Yeah, she's definitely a lady. Females are usually bigger than the males, about 50 feet. And this one's definitely female. I'll be honest.
honest with you folks, that is the biggest whale I've ever seen. So she sounded, it looks like, uh, oh, I think this is gonna be a full breach, because she's gone down pretty far. Now, I've been doing this uh, almost 20 years, and I've only seen a full breach once. She's underwater, now she's coming up. Get your cameras ready. Huh, I'm a little excited myself. Oh, she's something else. on your stations, men. Carry on, Mr. Flask. Take her to test deck. Aye, helm, full speed ahead. Depth, make her eight, zero, zero feet. What's this all about? Allow me to explain. Two weeks ago, a Norwegian fishing trawler capsized in the Chuck Cheese Sea. Five days later, an offshore oil rig was sunk just off the coast of Ketchikan, Alaska. And just two days ago, a merchant vessel went down near Port Angeles, Washington. Eyewitnesses report say that all were attacked by an enormous whale. Right. Well, that's just ridiculous. Because this is completely inconsistent with the Physoder macrocephalus. What are these lines right over there? That's a statometer. Each mill represents a meter. But, no. Well, then how close is the whale in this shot here? 50 meters or so. But then that would make it, what, 400 feet? More like five. OK, that's, that's just not possible. I don't know what this is, but it's not a sperm whale. Did we pick up the wrong scientist? The largest known sperm whale is 85 feet in length. This is six times the length of that, and if you really look at it, I mean, the size of the, the head and then the jawline, see, whales, they don't have the teeth that jut up. So what do you think it is? Uh, I don't know. I mean, there is conjecture that some whale species that are thought to be extinct, that they may actually live in the lower depths of the Arctic. Which is why we need you and your device to track it down. Yeah, well, it's not that simple, you see. Because the, uh, the whale song generator, it has this specific auditory algorithm, and I don't know the sound of this whale. I do. Captain on deck. I have his signature and clicks here. It says 1969. Moby Dick is older than that. Moby Dick, sir? You've heard of him, Chief? Anyone who's spent time at sea has heard of Moby Dick, Captain. Mm-hmm. It's a particularly large and vicious whale. His hide covered with thousands of scars and corkscrewed remains of countless harpoons. Old sailors swear that Moby Dick is both omnipresent and immoral. Of course, most old sailors are usually drunk. <laughs> Moby Dick is real. I've seen him with my own eyes. It was Moby Dick who took my leg in 69, and it's Moby Dick who I mean to find now. Wait, you're going to take revenge on an animal. I'd strike the sun if it insulted me. Wait, it's just a mask. It's the thing behind the mask that I seek. Maybe it's nothing, but animal or not, I read your dissertation on biomass estimation and echolocation, and I have been following your work in cetacean semiotics for years. If anyone could track an individual whale, it's you. I won't be a part of a hunting expedition. We just want to stop the attack.
Here you are, sir. Captain Enderby, sir. Thank you, Ensign. At ease, Captain. Have a seat. Scotch? Throw 900, sir. Make it a small one. Boomer, what can you tell me about Captain Jonah Ahab? Sir? You served with him, didn't you? Twice. Yes, I mean the second time. I was intelligence officer when he was skipper of the Jeroboam. Good CO? That was a long time ago, sir. What's this about? You know Ahab captains the Pequod now. New modified Virginia class. Modified by Ahab himself. The most advanced boat in a fleet. Next generation weapon system, reinforced pressure hull, top of the line surveillance and counter surveillance equipment. What's the problem, sir? Ahab missed his last radio check in seven days ago. That's not unusual for a fast attack. He could be tracking an enemy sub. Nav Paxat picked him up when he surfaced twice in the last week. Once off the coast of Alaska and again this morning near NBSD. Plus, there have been incidents. What kind of incidents? Sinkings. A Norwegian trawler, an oil rig, and this morning, a whale watching boat off Point Magoo, for Christ's sake. And you think Ahab is responsible? That's what I need you to find out. Yes, sir. We have every ship in U.S. PACOM searching for the Pequod. The USS Essex is in the area with orders to engage. We cannot have a subcommander off the reservation with a boatload full of nukes. There was a survivor off that whaleboat. Get to the hospital and find out if Ahab was the cause of it. Am I clear? Aye, aye, sir. Good hunting, Captain. It's just completely jammed. Give me a little tape recorder. That's not gonna work. This is a micro cassette. Give it to me. Okay. We only need the first 10 minutes? You know, I learned how to do this and <gasps> I could only find a break I wanted on an A track. <laughs> mixtape. <laughs> you are a genius. <gasps> That's true. We're in. Maintaining depth, six zero feet. Radio con, employ antenna and scan all frequency. Belay that. We don't want to expose ourselves any longer than we have to. Aye, sir. Sir, reading cavitation from an Ohio-class boat, identifying now. What are they doing in the area? A better question is who? Doby, let me hear it. It's Pollard. Aye, sir. Neuroband confirms the target is the USS Essex. She's 105 nautical miles south. Report. Possible target, 225 degrees north. Is it the Pequot? Can't tell, sir. Sonar is still trying to identify. Do you have the target yet? Negative, sir. Switch to active sonar. Sir, and 
expose our position? Ping the son of a bitch. Sir, the Essex has gotten the active sonar. I'm reading a large biological mass closing in on the Essex. Helm, all ahead flank. Intercept course on the Essex. Hi, Captain. All ahead flank. Sorry, even at flank speed, it'll take over four hours to reach that destination. <sighs> then those men are already dead. Give me continuous reports on the status of the Essex. I've got Echo. Calculating TMA. Fire control. Flood tubes one and three. Sir, this doesn't look like a sub. It's probably one of Ahab's tricks. Tubes one and three are flooded and equalized. Target is diving. Nine zero degrees. Dive. 45 degrees, bubble down. Don't lose him. 45 degrees, down bubble. I. Target is accelerating. Sir, target is going out of range. Sir, we're gonna lose our shot. Sir. Commence fire in 2-1. Torpedo 1 is fired and closing on target. 300 meters. Report. 200 meters and closing. I've got bottom echo. He's heading for a C-mount. Torpedo can't get a lot. Come on. Still no luck, sir. Tell me we got him. Negative. Torpedo hit the C-mount. Sir, I don't think this is the Pequod. What the hell is this thing? What's it doing now? He's just lying there. Helm, ahead two-thirds. Close the gap. Torpedo tube three is ready. Setup is good for curved fire. Shoot! Fire three! <laughs> Torpedo missed. Torpedo still running. Target is turning. We have target lock. Target is biological. That's impossible. He's gonna ram us. Fire control. Report. Torpedo still running. Evasive action. All ahead flank. Left full rudder. We're clear. Enderby. Are you at the hospital? Yes, sir. I'm just arriving at the hospital now. Boomer, listen, it may be nothing, but we're getting reports that a marine biologist has disappeared in San Diego. A marine biologist? We have eyewitness reports that she was abducted by a black submarine. All right. Send me what you got. Here it comes. How long before she was picked up? She was in the water almost four hours. She's suffering from exposure, dehydration, and sunburn. What did she say happened? I don't know. She only speaks Russian. John. Kaglasavut? Yelena. Priyatna pasna komice, Yelena. Nazdorovia. Can you tell me what happened? 
it, it attacked us. Go ahead. From under the sea. What did it look like? Was the ship black? It was white. I cleared the tape is and I'm applying the DNR now. Okay. Everything's clear except for the source. Initiating playback. sound it's it's more like the absence of sound like a hole in the water yes What's that screaming? Captain, we've reached the last recorded position of the Essex. Sonar, what have you got? No contact, sir. I'll stop. Stopping all engines. I. Activate the photonic mass. This is your captain. Look at your screens. Look at the face of the rocks. This could have been you. And it still might be. The men of the S6 we're only doing their duty. And now we must do ours. The thing that did this to them is the thing that we're after. Here to the Atlantic. 
We're going to chase him to hell if we have to. And when we find him, we're going to make him pay. He's going to feel the sting of our hate. And when we're done with him, he will spout black and roll in his own blood. We owe this to the men of the Essex. We owe this to ourselves. And may God hunt us all if we do not hunt Moby Dick to the death. Are you with me, men? Yes. Yeah. Do you feel brave? Yes! Corporal Perth, I need a ride. Do you have parents for that? Colonel! Anything else I can do for you, sir? I can use a driver. I'll just take a nap here. <laughs> Admiral, I have Captain Edgar B. Boomer, what the hell is going on out there? I don't know yet. I need to find Ahab. I have to talk to him. No, it is too late for that, Captain. Wallbanger picked up the thermal signature of an S9G reactor a thousand miles east off of Honolulu. The Essex was in the area, and now she's gone missing. CNO has declared Pequot an aggressor. We do have the USS Summers in the vicinity, and she has an entire wing searching for them now. I called it a favor from First Marine. I can be there in four hours. In four hours, the Pequot will be at the bottom of the ocean. Captain Indeby? Yeah. Captain Brian Tushigo. Where are we heading to, Cap? That way. Sonar spotted a biologic mass 10 miles off our stern. Contact is bearing 215 and closing. Mark, contact heading and calculating firing solution. Engines at one third. Sir! We want him to catch us, Mr. Starbuck. Engines at one third. I see. <laughs> SM is picking up an unidentified aircraft. 8-0, nautical miles north-northwest and closing. P-4, 
Dequad, this is Sierra Victor, one niner, come in. Dequad, if you do not respond, we'll be forced to open fire. Ah, he's bluffing, he can't see us. We are marked with your position and intercepting now. Yes, sir. Five zero miles has made the target. Show now report. Biological target is five miles astern and still an intercept. The signature's not right. The target is 600 feet in organic. What else could it be? Helm left full rudder, engine starboard ahead two thirds. Port back full. Left full rudder, iron. You're captain. He took my leg. I don't intend to give him my ass. Sir, I turn at this speed to expose our position. Permission to interdict. Permission granted. Activate Ramix. Let's make sure he knows we're serious. Activating. The firing lines. Sir, I demand an explanation. Torpedo, this is the captain. Sub rocks, one and two. What's a sub rock? Basically a nuclear torpedo. I designed her, Mr. Starbuck. The hull will hold. Target is still bearing 215 and three miles due north. Sir, we have a lock on Moby Dick. Captain, it's not Moby Dick. You may fire one ready, Mr. Q. Fire one. Incoming missile. Somers, this is Sierra Victor 190. We are under attack. Rock heading to target. 100 meters to target. 50 meters to target. What the hell was that? Nuclear detonation, sir. Sonar, report. Target is destroyed. I think you've got Moby Dick, sir. I'll bring her back around. You can hear me? Congratulations, Pequod. You've nuked a school of squid. There are squid, there are whales. Prepare to launch torpedoes. shooting at us why were they shooting at us time to earn your keep doc i need to see our orders sir our orders sir in accordance with article 5 section 1 1 Word, five. mr starbuck
Mr. Starbuck, you have the con. that canister over here. Seahawks with a sub rock. Sir, that doesn't make any sense. If he wanted to shoot down aircraft, why wouldn't he use one of his tomahawks? Captain, the man has stolen a $2.8 billion submarine. You think he's thinking rationally? That may be true, Admiral, but he isn't stupid. I'm within an hour of the summer's location. Just give me a chance to talk to him. The only way that's going to happen is if you get there before anyone else does. Then, sir, get me the exact coordinates of that nuclear detonation. Will tell me what's going on, sir? Ever hear of Moby Dick, Captain? Doby? There's a cruise ship, but that's all. Maintain present course and heading. It's him. Right full rudder. Come around fast. Make your heading 125. Aye, sir. Right full rudder. Heading 125. with the cruise ship. He's coming back around. I think he's gonna hit again. Why would a whale act like this? Oh, why do babies die in their sleep? Mr. Q, status report. Still out of effective firing range, Captain. That ship won't stand another direct hit. If he rams her again, she's going down. Pip, I want you to take the signal and put it into output. Give me all the volume you can. <laughs> Now. 
by Tortoise. Mystery Cube, prepare number one. Prepare tube one and wait for my command. Two one, ready! He's two kilometers in closing. The Fadalar is ready to fire, sir. No, 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 not yet. Not yet, Mr. Q. One kilometer. He's coming right for us. The captain. Wait. 700 meters. 300 meters. 150 meters. Captain, I have to swerve. 100 meters. 50 meters. Fire. Fire. We got a flying. We've lost port diving plane. Reports of heavy flooding in the VLS. What's he doing? He's sounding. was right in this area. Then you're headed west. But towards Hawaii? That's where he's driving. Who's driving who, sir? Would you call this a normal day? <laughs> nah. I see wars every day. But I've never experienced anything like that. It's the whiteness of the world that freaks me out the most, you know what I mean? White is for the good guys. I have no problem seeing white as evil. Engines are testing operational, but with the bow planes out of commission. We won't be able to go much past periscope depth. Thank you, Chief. Officer of the deck, radio, picking up a distress call from the cruise ship Rachel. They have personnel overboard. They are requesting assistance. Report to the Rachel. Tell them that we will proceed to their location. I don't believe it. He's taunting me. 
sir. Clear the decks, Mr. Starbuck. We're going after him. Captain, what about the Rachel? We're less than 100 miles from Hawaii. Can you imagine the destruction if that thing makes it into Pearl Harbor? Sir. I will not put the security of the United States Navy or the safety of a quarter of a million people at risk, not when I finally have the chance to stop it! The Rachel can fend for herself. Aye, aye, sir. Then clear the deck, Mr. Starbuck. We have a whale to catch. God help us all. Prepare all torpedo tubes. Switch to active sonar. We're not hiding anymore, gentlemen. Helmsman, all ahead full. And don't let them get away from you. Doby, where's he at? Target is 100 yards north at 25 knots, sir. Too close for torpedoes. Engines two thirds. Engines two thirds, aye, sir. Give us a little bit of room. Target is maintaining 100 yards, sir. <laughs> he knows. He knows! You give this whale too much credit. Oh, he's not a whale. He's the devil himself! Captain, look at this. There's an atoll with a narrow open reef about two miles north of here. Yeah, it's Taipei Atoll, I know. We can force Moby Dick into the reef. We can capture him in the lagoon. <laughs> Helm, all ahead full. All ahead full, I, sir. Into the belly of the beast. <laughs> Target's ready, starboard. It's working. We're approaching the atoll. Yeah. Yeah, drive it into him, boys. Come on, drive it into him. Aye, sir. Target is 6 0 north northwest, sir. Engines, give him everything you got. Give him enough credit, Doctor. Fire torpedoes! Negative tubes are blocked! Collision warning! Engines, back full! Deploy a search team, see if anyone in the Osprey survived the crash. Shot a fire volley into the lagoon, sir. No, Chief, we're going in after him. Sir, the opening's only 12 feet deep. We're too tall. Huh? We'll face them like our ancestors did.
Prepare the Zodiacs. What the hell is going on now? Stop, Jonah. Half the Navy is looking for you. And when they find you, they won't hesitate to destroy you. <laughs> I've waited 40 years for this day. I built the Pequod for this one purpose. I won't stop now. I can't. Moby Dick has seen to that. <clears throat> How? How? How could you ask me that? You of all people, Moby Dick took just as much from you as he did from me. Have you forgotten what it was like to sit out on that sea ice and watch your arm go gangrenous while we were waiting to be rescued? I haven't forgotten. And the, the months of surgery, the, the years of, of rehabilitation. Wondering why this happened to you. Asking yourself what kind of a god could allow such a thing. And then coming to the conclusion that he was either malicious or indifferent. And then realizing you don't know which is worse. Such a thing cannot be allowed to live. I think Moby Dick took more from you than from me. Killing him won't bring back my arm. It won't bring back your leg. It won't bring any of it back. And whether you succeed or fail, how many people need to die? All of them. This whole act has been decreed. rehearsed by us a billion years before the oceans even rolled. There's nothing I can do about it. I am fate's lieutenant, and I act under orders. Save your ammunition, Captain. You're gonna need it later. Mr. Starbuck, give us two hours, no more. So keep the tubes at ready. If I fail, or if Moby Dick tries to escape, I want you to hit him with everything we've got. Blow him and the island all to hell. Hi, sir. If I don't make it back, make sure this gets to the institution. Oh, you better come back. I still need to get paid. Be safe. Good luck. Captain, I made this from the damaged bow plane, sir, just as you ordered. Be careful, sir. Now, you see, it's properly tempered. And you're coming with us, too? You know, he's completely insane. How can anyone endure this and not be?
Chief. Aye, sir. Careful, these mines are a little unpredictable. Sonar, do you have a read on target? Negative, Con. I can't see anything past the outer perimeter. Any sign of him, Stubbs? Nothing, sir. He must have gone to bottom. This lagoon is deep. Ah, an hour at the most. He has to breathe. He's a damn mammal. Damn it. What you want me to do? They're birds. What? The birds! He's under you! He's right below! Moby Dick has dismasted me once again, but I am untouched. How many lost, Stubbs? Seaman Guernsey and Mayhew were killed. Ensign Jago was missing. Archie and Kabaka were on the other side of the lagoon, along with Captain Boomer. We were able to keep most of our ammunition and firearms, sir. Well, signal them to move about the perimeter, and then we'll meet them in the center. Aye, sir. Let's go. Well, it seems like we're destined to see this thing through together, Doctor. What is this place? Taipei with a leper colony. This gets better and better. Hand me that cross up there that says Maples on it. Maples was a priest who tended to the sick till he died of the disease himself in 1851. say a drowning thing will go down and rise up again twice before going down forever. Moby Dick has already been down twice. So have you.
be out there? Yeah, I guess you're right. As far as I'm concerned, if you're gonna hunt for whales, it's better to do it from the safety of the land. Last Zodiac is leaving the beach.
we've lost communication with our last Zodiac. Sir, target is turning. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sleeps, it cannot love. Oh, my obsession. The windy sea and God above know my obsession. In fever dreams and memories, I 